How old are the prince and his friends right now as they try to court the eight-year-old kid with a bunch of gifts? I know it's different time, but like we gotta be careful with this shit. So so far, it's looking like this girl is basically a reincarnation, but she's like unlocked her past memories. So she basically got reincarnated. Her soul was implanted in that baby. That baby grew up without the past memories. Now it's awakened. And now she's like, oh shit, I'm in my game. I'm going to be like the best villainess ever. She seems very competent. She's getting very powerful. She's doing like 50, 100, couple hundred push-ups. She's proving her like diplomatic political strength as well as she like coaches the the king on like how to deal with certain things so the whole setup is nice right now there's the blue rose for the prince and the gold rose or something i i, I think for the actual heroine of the show right the sage but i think we're the dark rose the dark show i think already exists let's begin today's reaction Meta. <laughs> Is it a familiar? They keep showing us this scene in the book of this like empty looking fountain with a bunch of shacks around it. I thought this is the place that was like impoverished and you know we were giving advice on the king on how to maintain it, right? A kiss with the witch? Who's kissing who? お屋敷の裏の森から行けなくはないわね。王様だけど、全ては本の知識でしかない。悪女たるもな。ちゃんとなのは絶対に許可されないってことよね。つまりこ。オッケー。Don't <笑> かつて滞在人を閉じ込めるためにでも魔力のある私ならその障壁をわわわわわ。Luana what? Luana used to be enclosed by a magical barrier. Oh god, I'm triggered. Sanctuary Rezero. かつて滞在人を閉じ込めるために魔法の障壁に囲まれたとその障壁を通れる Maybe she can punch through it. She's so strong now. もしかしてあれが So this is the from the picture book, right? This is from his book. Society. <laughs> Dude, she was fucking ready with that shank, man. Oh my god. He's blind. It's a knife. To check out how poor you were. I showed up here just to see how poor you guys really are. And now I see people sleeping outside. It's even worse than I expected. Alright. Just will. You can't what? Say it. A true villainess will be like, oh, <laughs> you can't even see me blind. Okay. You can hear everything. Holy shit. I mean, they do say that when you lose one sense, your other ones get heightened. Now, I think that's just anime fictional bullshit. That doesn't happen in real life, but who knows? Oh, he's sniffing. This is logical deduction. Dude, he has to be some sort of exiled person. There is no way this Will guy is just a random dude here. He must be from the royal capital and he might be exiled. Maybe something bad happened. Maybe the punishment for his crimes was to take his side away. Who knows? He talks shit. Damn, he talks shit. Then they took away his eyes. Now he's banished. We should make him return. He should come back with us and get revenge. Who could have done this? Who did this shit to him? What's up, your dad? Imagine our parents did this shit to him. No, I think our parents are pretty chill. Just trying to think of any like pieces of shit that we made in the kingdom just yet, but I don't really remember. 
君の名前はアリシアです良い名だ正しいとは限らないそういう話じゃ過去の歴史を前 Very abstract The thing he said was something that has to do with a tradition that's been upheld for a long time doesn't make it right today Maybe there's like slavery or something and he wanted to go against it. Basically tradition from the past is keeping the royals back and he talked against it and they got mad and took his eyes away いくら本で知識を得たところで未来に生かせなければ意味がないから追い出されてしまったなんて What a waste of talent 貴族が憎いですか憎くないと行動を誰かが理解してくれる日は必ず来る Alicia will 次はお自分の目で見ようと思ったのか私は私は気がつけ包み隠さず話して You should tell him that you're also a reincarnated person かな顔で話を聞いてくれた You did 300 push ups? Those dudes are sending you gifts when you're 8 years old? The nobles really are more trash than I thought. Alright, kid, only come back at night time. One year time skip, nine years old now. I do appreciate that they go out of their way to animate and even well this wasn't animated but like the, the voice lines right the voice lines in the intermission scenes are a little extra so she's been coming every like not every night but periodically so for the past year she's just been she's just been learning and learning so he's she's pretty much like a mentor for her Magic Academy, the game? Oh, the ultimate game. Okay, we're getting into the meat of the content now. Okay, we're getting into the Academy setting. This is where all the hot, spicy drama is going to happen. Where are the main character at? The other twin? ふたこでも別行動する。似たいところはあるかい？お？うん？ああ。バルシャ？こんにちは。いらっしゃいませ。The Weed Man. やあ。エリックにヘンリー。ああ。ヘンリーの妹さんか。僕は店長のポール。植物あるかな。僕は緑の魔法の家系でね。There it he wasn't like an actual noble or something, right? I forget. Uh, other dudes were important. They had their elements, right? Fire magic, blah, blah, blah. But this had green magic. What the fuck is green magic? Literally this. This plant magic. <laughs> Maybe the green magic user was also just like a plebeian. A lesser noble. Just plant medicine. I love the Satan's cabbage. Yeah, the little pose is nice too. She just gotta get the oh ho 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 laugh. Maybe even the curls. Dye her hair blonde and get the curls too will be extra. That's right. We're just born with it. We're simply just elite. We're born with this knowledge. We didn't have to sweat it out like the heroine would have to. So, Rivals. I will never let you have my sister. You're gonna keep her for yourself? What are you gonna do with your sister, bro? <laughs> What's happening here? Who, who's gonna? Who, like, like this, this. The more you think about this line, the more worse it gets. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go to the Look at these fucking predator. <laughs> I'm kidding. How old are they? Fifteen or something, right? So like at the age of 15, they go into academy, right? That's what's happening? 
these dudes I can all assume to be same age 15. So 15 year olds raising up a nine year old. 15 is what? Grade 10? Jun like freshman high school? About that age, right? 15, 16, like freshman, right? Six year age gap. Listen, six year age gap when you're 20 and 26 doesn't sound as bad. When you're 30 and 36, definitely doesn't sound bad. But when she's 9 and 15. <laughs> is she 10 now? No, she's 9 at the moment, I think. I've been keeping track. We've done another additional time skip, and it's 9 years old compared to the time skips we had before. We started today with 8 years old. Now we're 9. <laughs> It's not a good look. What's nine? Grade two? What is that not? What was not? Wait, 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 what's, what's? Hold up, hold up. If 15 is like beginning of high school, right? Take away six from like, like grade 10. Grade four, grade three, grade four. You could kind of assume that, right? Ooh, Jesus Christ. What? <laughs> Home. Oh. Let's go. Be the sword saint. I'm wrong. I'm talking to my ass. I thought I'd been keeping track. She is 10 right now. The age gap is 5. Does this make it any better? I'm going to stay out of that discussion. Because you're an onna woman, you should not be fighting. Yeah, hype villainous, bro. Hype Giga Chai villainous standing on fucking business, bro. She should challenge him to a fucking duel. They'd be like, yeah, I bet I'm better than you. You want to fucking coddle me? Nah, I'm strong. Nice. He fucked up. <laughs> yes, and the other dudes are going to thirst after you even more because they realize how cool you are. Because the whole premise of the show is her being a villainess and expecting her to be demonized, but other people just glaze her, right? Because they're like, wow. She's really, she's really amazing and so straightforward and just like, damn. Oh, brother's talking. Brother's talking. The real reason. What's the real reason? Damn, she didn't even try to eavesdrop. She just busted in the fucking door. Tell me, bitch. You talking behind my back? True. I'm a villainous father. Look at how we five years, man. She's already stronger. Do it. Come on. Yeah, when she popped off in the presence of the king. Yeah, you might want her to live as a normal child, but she was literally doing like 500 push-ups at like 8 years old, bro. She, she is literally like grinding every day. He's also getting mentorship from like an exiled noble. She is not a normal child. And a reincarnation too. Exactly. They're keep they're holding us back. We can't wait fucking five years and waste it away. The potentials of us to be the best villain us ever is gonna get wasted. Grandpa Will will know. Uh oh, he said always visit night. Maybe he's busy during the day. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is the exact, you know, centerpiece of the fountain I was talking about in that book, right? This is Luana. There I guess this girl tried to steal some carrots. <laughs> this dude is gonna beat her up with the fucking. <laughs> Just isn't that what Ramji uses, bro, in ReZero? The giant ass like tree branch weapon. 
Damn. Damn, that's a lot of blood. That's kind of interesting how all the fucked up shit happens during daytime rather than nighttime. You would think that people would chill during casual daytime and at night everyone comes out to fuck shit up. Swordsmanship. I intend to go there and save the kid with my swordsmanship. This kid got messed up. Come on, Will. Wasted potential. Let's take him back to the royal capital. Alicia, change it. Yeah, you've had the ultimate upbringing. The biggest lesson in life, your trajectory, the like your trajectory of your life, the most significant factor on whether or not you like succeed in life, your spawn point. Nothing you have control over. Where you guys spawned is the most important. Not only a region, right? Are you gonna be spawned in like a, a poverty-induced uh, nation, or are you gonna be, you know, spawned in like uh, a relatively place, good place like North America, where there's a lot of opportunities, right? And then not only that, are you gonna get spawned in a poor family, or are you gonna get spawned in like an elite family? All this shit, just RNG, truly just determines your trajectory in life. <laughs> A villainous wouldn't want to just like resolve poverty and uplift everyone, right? A villainous would be like, oh, <laughs> a villainous would have probably joined in on the kicking of the kid, right? I'm, I'm not sure exactly how bad the villainesses are, but when I think about like a typical bitch, like she might have joined in on the kicking the boy too on the ground. Yeah. Let's do it better than her. Ultimate villainous. Oh, right. We have this plan. We literally talked about that plan where, like, a little bit of it can, like, heal anything. Loana. Oh, thank you. What a nice guy. Free. This is actually good for him because the Josiah bag is literally nothing to him in the grand scheme of things. Sure, she's getting a good deal, but if she's gonna keep coming back and she has such title as like a noble, this shop's only gonna do better. It's an investment. This is straight up an investment into the kid. Title drop. <laughs> yeah, he didn't even know, right? This is his first time hearing villainous? Wait, what? Is it not a bad person? She's gonna grind even harder. What? What was that? She started to glow. Is this like the shadow affinity or like the dark element? Because like our family is supposed to be like dark element, right? Boom, and then hidden library, hidden library, forbidden books. It's fucking out of nowhere. I love how she doesn't even question it. She's like, wait, was this here before? Anyways, how lucky. All right, let's study magic. Level 100 is the cap. We can go beyond- they can go beyond that. That's bullshit, bro. The game is balanced so that the villainess is always right behind the heroine? Even no matter how much we, like, grind? No incantation? Damn. 
So I guess there's like some basic level magics that everyone can do, but then there's also then like elemental specific magic, right? Because like, what about his floating has to do with darkness? I'm sure this is like a uh, general magic that everyone can use. Ow. Few days later. What the fu- Oh, she's moved him around. I see, I see. I wonder at what age is appropriate for level 5 magic. Because whatever she's doing right now, I'm sure it's supposed to be impossible, right? In the realm of possibilities amongst her kids like her age. Overuse of mana. Or is it mana? It's just physical fatigue? There's no mana? <laughs> the king is here again. CGI. His voice acting is amazing no matter what, but I feel like this kind of character is not like the default Dio voice actor, you know? He doesn't look clown enough. Like, you saw the guy in the talker anime, right? That is a fucking Dio voice actor, right? Roswell from ReZero, exactly. But this guy looks like too normie to have that kind of voice. All the dads here too, shit. Eh, it's alright. It's alright. It's kind of mid. Should a villainous shit on the way that a kingdom is ruled because there's some faults in it? Or should a villainous be happy of the wealth disparity of how we live here and how the poor people live over there? Oh, she talking shit. Very true. I'm insulting the ones that somehow leached the system and got into a position where they did not deserve it. The poor kids in that village of Loana, they're geniuses, but they don't get the opportunity. So yes, I insult you. Just mana is noble. This is very true. You're literally leaking talent, so much potential just wasted. All those genius kids in Loana could be used to better, you know, this kingdom, but you're too prideful. <laughs> now, now, there's no need to shout. <laughs> this guy is still like the biggest hater of the kid. Dude, she, he is so fucking upset. And even the other dad's like, yo. Yo, chill the fuck out. He's a toddler. Just relax. <laughs> he really took personal insult to that. Maybe he is one of those nobles that got in a position simply due to his spawn point. But he's actually just garbage. <laughs> I wouldn't. Because I'm um, the real deal. Competency, right? Meritocracy. Climbing the ladder proportionate to how much value you offer. Alicia would do perfectly fine in a system like that. Based. Is this what a villainous would say though? Is this what a villainous would say? I don't know. I feel like the answers, a villainous might just be fine with this whole system that exists to be in power. But the whole attitude felt like villainous of like kind of like talking shit and like other people are getting mad and you're just still talking shit, which is the absolute truth. So like while the topic might have not been villainous topic, the way it was presented was villainous like. Oh, she going to pass out. Principal Cat, out of fucking nowhere. My guess is too much use of mana and she's run out and now she's fatigued. <laughs> her own brother. Just like, we should get her to safety. I'm gonna carry her. Okay? Me. I will carry your sister. 
Okay, bro. Just a fever, maybe. Has nothing to do with mana? Maybe she's just sick? <laughs> he drank it. Oh, Alicia. You're not gonna drink it? You're not gonna drink it? <laughs> oh, God. Dodge if you don't want this, Alicia. <laughs> Poor child be taken advantage of while she's sick. You sick freak of a prince. 15 and 10, by the way. 15 and 10, by the way. And if she's 12 right now, 17 and 12. Does that make it any better? No, fuck no. It makes it fucking it's just bad. It's just fucking bad, bro. That's another sussy ass episode of the villainous show. <laughs> um, I mean, we obviously were jesting here, right? I, I don't think there's actually pedo shit happening. No, no, it's different times. We're just memeing around about the age gap, but it is a bit uncomfortable. It, it is kind of weird if we, you know, apply our Western cultures and, you know, different standards and it's a fucking work of fiction, but it, it is kind of weird, but there's also a lot of laughs to be had at it. Today's episode was interesting in world building Loana, how they're being treated. Like they're basically just labeled as criminals, right? They're just like no way out if you're basically here. It's like a penal colony. Will is a wise man he is an ex-member of the royal court he talked against i bet you the person that will had beef with or will didn't even have beef but you know the guy that got mad the noble is probably the gray-haired guy here right the dude that got mad at alicia what if he's the motherfucker that like took will's eyes out i'm just trying to make some connections with characters that we know and who would be a hater this guy is like a fucking d1 hater maybe he's the culprit but will basically said like hey uh, i think that these old customs are holding us back and in this modern times we should adapt and he probably said no off with his eyes exiled but if it's not him then who knows and will i'm sure we'll come back this whole episode was alicia understanding how privileged she is that she has all these resources all the best environment to be just the best while other people that are equally or if not more talented don't have the same opportunities you know, it's just unfortunate reality that is life. And Alicia is now going to be the ultimate villainess and create equality for all, which is funny because a villainess wouldn't necessarily go out to bat against the poors. But it's not really about the topic again. It's about how she presented herself. It was a very, quote unquote, rude, brash, just straightforward, just talk shit. That's kind of the villainous attitude. So I'm still enjoying that. And the kiss at the end. <clears throat> hey Alicia, dodge if you don't want this. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.